one of the big things I wanted to bring up here is what do I build for a lab and how much would it cost in general? So I'm always about budget friendly equipment. I know you can always go bigger than what I say. And there's even people that say, well, I, I feel like you can't really learn it if I don't have a blah, 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 blah. And that's, and that's fine. But I would say this stuff that you see on the screen right here is enough to really get going into the CICD, meaning the CCNA voice world now become collaboration. So 2621XM with an NMHD2VE. I was trying to find a picture that had the module in there. That's actually a module that goes right here and allows you to put in two voice slots. And that's where I would say get, actually the, the module name is a vic 2 ff -F XS or in 2FXO. That stands for Foreign Exchange Station and Foreign Exchange Office. What that lets you do, what this little gem does, uh, is let you connect to the old world, meaning analog lines, uh, S being the phones, like an old analog phone that you could buy from Walmart or something like that and plug it in and convert it into a voice over IP device. And that can represent in the new world, a fax machine. It could represent a modem. It could represent uh, you know, a, a uh, phone that's uh, in a warehouse where they just don't want to put an IP phone there because it's going to get beat up and hit by a, a forklift and everything else. Uh, FXO being a foreign exchange office, which is the um, connection to the outside world. So if you've got an analog line coming into your house, which it's funny how the world has changed. I used to uh, say, oh man, just take your home phone line and run it over the voice over IP system. And now here I am talking to you and I'm like, well, not many people have a home phone line anymore. Everybody's gone to cell phones, but get one, right? Go get an analog line uh, for your home. And then you can use that as essentially your T1 emulation or your connection to the outside world uh, with this device. This device can also run Call Manager Express or what Cisco now calls CUCME, uh, which allows you to run a small office phone system from the all-in-one router, right? Uh, this guy right here, is uh, 3550 with inline power. And I uh, made sure to differentiate that. That's not PoE, right? That's inline power, the old Cisco proprietary, because you can get that switch for probably 10 or 20 bucks off of eBay. So uh, let, let me toss some prices uh, as I'm going about this, this little uh, roundabout. So this guy, the, the 2621, uh, now I'm, I'm a thrifty guy, right? Like I'm, I'm shopping on eBay. I just don't do, get the first search result. So I'd say you could get that for 45 bucks. I'd say the 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 thirty five fifty you could probably get from somewhere between ten to twenty dollars and you know pay shipping or something like that. These guys right here uh, are some great IP phones because you're getting into the call manager world. You could probably get those again between uh, ten and twenty dollars a piece uh, because they're not the slick uh, wonderful uh, phones. But but also keep in mind these are not video phones. These are uh, the I'll, I'll call them now old school uh, phones that just do the audio. So if you are planning to get heavy into to the video, uh, then, then uh, you might just want to invest in the phones I'm about to show you on the next slide. This piece right here is critical. This is uh, CUCM uh, VMware in images, and I'm, I'm showing them from eBay. I just did a search right before I uh, put this presentation slides together this morning. And so if you can't see it because it's so small, there's $40 uh, that you can get a whole slew of images. That's uh, Cisco Unity, uh, Cisco Unified Presence, the Call Manager Express, or, or I should say the uh, Call Manager uh, image itself, already prepackaged in VMware where you can use the free VMware player to spin those up in your environment. And of course, I'm assuming, <laughs> because you lose your geek card if you don't have it, you've got a beefy computer at home with, I would say, 16 gigs of RAM would be ideal, that you can actually run a lot of these images right there. This environment will allow you to set up, and I would say about 80 to 90% of everything that you need to set up in the uh, uh, the CICD world, right? So that allows you to build exactly what I teach in the CBT Nuggets world.